All right, and today I have for you the GoTrax GXL V2. This scooter has been around for a while. This is this company's most reliable and longest standing scooter. So what that means is they've had time to perfect this little dude right here. I say little dude, but this is not a very small scooter. This is made for adults up to 220 pounds. And I kind of happen to personally know that it carries 225 pounds quite well, but it's all nicely done. It's all black satin. You have the company logo here, which is this white sticker here. You have a very nice hub motor up here. It's a 250 watt motor, high torque. It scoots me along at 15 and a half mile an hour. No problem, has no problem getting up to speed. Cruises very nicely. As you can see, it has a very nice foldable design. You have a latch that's all the way back here and you just kind of pull the fender down and unlatch it. You roll it up and this mechanism locks straight into place just like that and you're ready to go. You have a nice little kickstand on this side and then in the back you have a nice disc brake setup that provides very nice stopping power even if you're cruising at top speed. Now it does say not to step on the fender and that's true, you should not step on it because you're gonna wear a hole in the fender but if you ride scooters and you lose brake, you could stand on this fender and use it as a brake to stop yourself in an emergency situation. And it's nice to have that second option if things are going bad. And now on this hub motor in the front, you do have an eight and a half inch wheel that provides a very nice, comfortable ride. I've cruised around my neighborhood that has some pretty nice potholes in it and I had no issues whatsoever. We've been driving this around. I've had my eight year old on it all the way up to me and my wife. We've had no issues, no rattles, no shakes, and knock on wood, no wrecks. Now, when you want to fold this back down, you have a little safety knob on the side. You just pull that knob out and then you can release this and just lay it right back down. I had to pick the kickstand up real quick and just that easy. Now you can carry this nice and portable and the locking hook that's back here also serves as a bag holder or a backpack holder when you're driving around. Now you can see on this end, you have a nice display. It is a nice digital display. It shows you how much charge you have, how fast you're going. If you tap the button that you turn it on with, you just short tap it, short press. It will turn the headlight on, short press it to turn it back off. It does not have an electronic horn. It just has a manual horn right here. But I have another scooter with an electric horn, and this is actually louder than the horn that I got on the other scooter. It has a built-in cruise control. So if you're driving and you're holding a certain throttle position for 10 seconds, it will automatically go into cruise control mode. So you no longer have to hold this, but the second you touch the brake or if you touch the throttle, it's gonna turn the cruise control off. It's not gonna run away with you. You have nice reflective tape on the back that acts as a back tail light. The tires are pneumatic. You have a nice five spoke rim in the back. And as I said before, you have the eight and a half inch hub motor in the front. It is a 250 watt motor and it is improved from the previous versions. It's more torque, but with like the same power consumption. And inside the neck right here, where the front bar is where your battery is stored. It has a 36 volt, 5.2 AH battery, and it will carry you up to 12 miles at 15.5 miles an hour. And now I did talk about the rear disc brake in the back. So it does have the rear disc brake, but it also has the EABS, which is the anti-locking brake setup. So if you jam on the brake, it's not gonna lock up and skid and slide out from under you. So overall, a very, very nice scooter. Like I said, my whole family has ridden this thing, everybody but the three-year-old. If you do ride this, it does travel at 15 and a half miles an hour. Wear a helmet, wear knee pads, wear elbow pads, the wrist guards, gear up, be safe, don't take any unnecessary chances. This is an excellent scooter for commuting. If you go to college, you need to get around campus. If you live in the city and you just need to get from your apartment to an office building, just a very nice commuter scooter. This thing isn't set up for drag racing. It's not to show everybody in the neighborhood that you have the fastest scooter on the block. But if you want good, reliable daily transportation, that's gonna get you there safely and quickly, then this GoTrax could be the right scooter for you. We're having a blast on it. We're nowhere near done testing this thing. We're gonna really put it through its paces and we're gonna completely enjoy this scooter. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.